Hello Capricorns! Welcome to your April 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now what we're going to do here, Capricorns, is we will slightly or loosely divide the reading in sort of areas <clears throat> because it's a bit easier to understand it then and also we, we, we get a bit more. <laughs> so what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the months of April 2022 for the sign of Capricorn before we then go into your emotional core, see what can be released, you know, uh, or maybe love is coming in, who knows, we'll see when we get there and then finally we'll look at opportunities. And opportunities, for the most part, are about how you whatever sustains yourself financially. So this is about sort of career stuff. And I say sort of because I only work here, and every now and then the guides throw me off completely and um, talk about uh, opportunities in a completely different way. Anyway, let's have a look at the overall energy for the sign of Capricorn for the months of April 2022. You have the mule deer and the mouse. Here we go. So, as your overall energy, what you're being asked is to be, <laughs> be cool. Just be cool about stuff, right? The mule deer is basically saying to you, since I'm a deer, which means I function best at sunrise and sunset, even though it sounds a bit black and white, not meant that way, but ultimately anything that happens sort of that is not routine, spooks the deer quite quickly and all they're saying is look i'm an animal with antlers antlers mean protection right <clears throat> if you're not stressed by by things and only use your natural energy especially this month obviously in april um to to go from place to place from energy to energy from situation to situation um things will be much easier so what i'm getting strongly is that the more stressed you are the more burdened you are, the less you can recover and charge your batteries, if that makes sense, right? And then you have the mouse as the outgoing energy with regards to your overall energy this month. And the mouse is saying, pay attention to who is in your life, in any um, situation, if that makes sense, that are cause, that cause you to feel out of sync with yourself, if that makes sense, right? And in a way, <laughs> I, mean, I, I wouldn't say that you lie to yourself, right? But the way they show it to me is that you might be the person, well, they show it to me that way, so you will be the person <laughs> that stays in situation much longer than you actually should, right? And so what they're saying to you is, you see the world exactly the way it is. Don't be fooled by anything, just acknowledge it and understand as well, because you have the mule deer, anything in April that feels like it's stressing, it's stressing you out, simply is not conducive to a good life. And in April, energetically speaking, you should pay attention to it, because as we're really properly moving into spring, the universe wants you to move with it. And so, if you have low energy already, it's harder for you to actually move with the flow and, and, and invite in new opportunities. It's all energy, right? So that's your overall energy for the month of April 2022 for the sign of Capricorn. Now we're looking at your emotional core. Let's see if there's any healing that needs to be had or, uh, and then um, maybe love. Let's have a look. Okay, interesting. You have the bald eagle and the red-tailed hawk. Here we go. Bald eagle and a red-tailed hawk. So you have two birds. Um, and before we talk about them individually, because you have two birds, um, the first thing that the, the guides are saying to you with regards to healing from past trauma or with regards to looking at relationships is to first detach yourself a little. right? Step back a little and also when you step back a little, assess... How am I truly feeling about disconnection, right? So if this is about healing, 
um, then you basically have to ask yourself, what am I holding on to? Why is it so difficult for me to release it? And without overthinking, all you need to decide is if it doesn't serve you and you feel tired every time a certain name comes up, um, then that is the time to find a way to release it. Right? And when the guides say find a way, um, that sort of denotes that whatever it is you do for yourself, you could be the best person in meditation and in all this kind of stuff, and you will probably be maybe even a teacher. But it is called the concept of the wounded healer. It is much harder to heal yourself than it is to heal anybody else. And sometimes when you're just there to be there for others, um, that blocks you from looking at yourself, right? So you have the bald eagle. And the eagle is saying, well, you know, I'm an awesome predator. I can see my food a mile away, right? And that's what they're trying to say to you. Look at stuff and realize I can fix this. And if I cannot fix this, then I reach out to the spiritual community because you're by default a spiritual being um, and maybe look into soul retrieval, past life regression, you know, even a Reiki treatment. All these sort of things are out there. Maybe even a good massage, whatever, whatever, how, whatever floats your boat, if that makes sense. But the point I'm making is don't try to go it alone all the time, especially when it comes to emotional healing, right? And then you have the red-tailed hawk. So while they're asking to reflect on your relationship, the relationship that you're in, your intimate relationship that you're in, if that makes sense, um, and or, because they're talking about healing here, um, if you're just in need of healing and you're not having a relationship yet, the point they're making is, whatever situation you're in, and it could be, it could be both, you could be going through healing while you're already engaged with someone else or you know in a new situation and all the guys are saying is as the hawk here as the outgoing energy um go with the flow no stress no demands if that makes sense so anything that has to do with with, with demands on how you should love someone and what you should do in a relationship um, or how quickly you should heal how you should heal is all not wanted in April. You will find a way. Yes, you can reach out and you can ask questions, but it is a difference to explore what's out there and then you deciding what you want to do or to be talked into it, right? So be detached, right? That's the most important thing for you, uh, um, overall energy here, um, this month. And now finally, we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of April for the sign of Capricorn. Like I said, you're watching Thomas's Tarot page with myself, Thomas Yannack. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Okay, with regards to hmm, proper opportunities, you have the tomahawk and the bear. Right, here we go. Tomahawk and the bear. <clears throat> and what that means is, Opportunities, proper opportunities, whatever that means, proper opportunities, are difficult to find you in April because the tomahawk is saying you have to first make the pay, you have to first make peace with whatever either came before or whatever situation you're in, which whatever it is that sustains you. So you have to first let go of all that trauma, if that makes sense, before proper opportunities can come to you because the tomahawk literally means bury the hatchet. And the bear is all about healing, deep personal healing, right? And the bear also represents uh, femininity. So they're asking you whether or not you're, you're, you're a gentleman or a lady. They're asking you to be in your softness at all times. And again, a lot of people sort of seem to be stressing about opportunities and feeling stuck. And while this is perfectly fine, all the guides are saying is in your case, it will not aid you at all. Um, you need to look or to look at healing, recovering even from whatever it is that sustains you financially that still sits there and maybe even causes you issues properly moving on. So. As you uh, have probably noticed, <clears throat> no matter what we looked at in your in your life in April, Capricorns, 
all the guides are saying to you or have said to you is for you to sort of take things a little bit easier right step back a little detach um, and really look and at, at um, recovering and healing um, before you can really make proper changes to your life okie dokie that's all i got see you all next month bye bye